Gold always thought her life should be on TV. But for now, she'll just have to settle for her own off-Broadway one-woman show called The Judy Show, My Life is a Sitcom. Please welcome Judy Gold. <laughs> this on Hot Topics one day about how you should have your own show, your own sitcom. Well, Joy, well, first of all, can I just say one thing about yeah. today's show? Yes. So we had Ian, Mario, Hal, and this is the gayest show it ever. Is gay. I mean, this is the first. This is the first. Wait a second. I, I don't know if, if Ian is out of the closet. Oh, now he is. <laughs> all right. So. Anyway, yeah, so uh, you should have your own uh, well, sitcom. Look, Joy, you know what I was thinking? You have two shows. Yes. Sherry has like four shows. That's true. <laughs> One for me? Really? Well, Elizabeth does too. Barbara uh, has uh, ten. Yeah. Barbara has, yeah, ten shows. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I'm thinking, yeah, my life is really a sitcom. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a six foot three inch Jewish lesbian comedian bringing up two kids on the Upper West Side with my ex, and I live in a 900 square foot apartment with one bathroom. I mean, what That's more can you ask? <laughs> The one really bathroom funny. is really bad, yeah. And, and, but you were always been obsessed with sitcoms, haven't oh, you? All since your life. I was a kid. You know, the thing I loved about sitcoms, yeah. the families really communicated with each other. I mean, in my family, we had two kinds of communication, screaming and not talking to each other, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I always just dreamed of running away to the Brady house or the Partridge family bus. Really? And, yeah, even the project on Good Times was better than Clark, New Jersey, okay? I just wanted to get out. What about the Brady House? We love the Brady House. Oh, that I love awesome. the Brady House, especially, you know, they had six kids and the one bathroom between the two of them. So, so, you like, know, so, so that's why I really, you know. Okay, now, um, what about material from your childhood? Like, um, like, did you go to sleepaway camp, Well, for as a Jew, you know, all Jewish children go to sleepaway camp because, yeah. you know, the parents <laughs> the law. don't want to deal with them. And it's also written in the Torah. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. A lot of people don't know Exodus yeah. is the story of is Sleepaway so? Camp. But, you know, the thing for Sleepaway, you know, I was excited about the Sleepaway Camp. But I got there, and the, they had these showers, these open showers, like you would have in a jail. And <laughs> the entire bunk would shower together. And yeah. I was six feet tall. Yeah. And we'd all walk over there with our little buckets, you know. And there I am in the open shower, six feet tall. My vagina's in everyone's face. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not kidding. I mean, that works well now. But then it was kind of was uncomfortable for everyone. That could be it weird. was not co-ed, Joy. Sure. <laughs> no, it wasn't co-ed. you're a gay mother. Did you always want to have children? All the lesbians I know want children. I know. You know, I wasn't really the one that wanted kids. My ex, Wendy. All right, that's she made not, that name I, up. It, she doesn't want to be. A, she wants me to call her Wendy. Her real name's Sharon. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> let's just call her Schwendy. Okay, so okay, Schwendy. Schwendy really wanted to have kids, yeah. and at, and she also. <laughs> So loves shopping and so buying sperm was sort of like paradise for a lesbian shopaholic because yeah. you know we got catalogs from the best sperm banks Seaman Marcus, um, <laughs> William Spermona, oh. Jay Screw and um, well, you know she's still uh, you broke up with Swendy. We broke up. But she still lives in your building. Well she did she lived in the building oh, she moved. and then she got this really big job so she moved 16 blocks away, three bedroom, yeah. three bathroom, yeah. balcony, fireplace. The elevator opens up into the apartment. And then, you know, I go on Facebook, and we're friends on Facebook because we're lesbians and we have no boundaries. So I go on Facebook, <laughs> and I see her updates, and yeah. they're always, like, sitting in front of the fire with a glass of wine, life is sublime. Really? Yeah, and my Facebook update, sitting on the toilet with a gun to my head, cleaning up pee. <laughs> Okay, now your mother. I love your mother. And your, uh, you, my and, mother loves you. I know I, she does, and we're bonded. Right. And your mother is not feeling too well, and she has a home she uh, has health aid. She has a home aid, health aid, yes. And I'm sorry. Her it's okay. The woman's lovely. I mean, she's an angel. Your and all, No, the woman. The, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not kidding. My mother, all day long, she just complains about her while she's sitting in the next room. Like, mm -hmm. I'll call my mother up, and she whispers about her on the phone. Like, I'll be like, hey, Ma, what's going on? So she came in. <laughs> I asked her to dust. Now, she sits on her ass all day long, doesn't do a damn thing. <laughs> then 15 minutes, I walk in the living room. There's a dust bowl on the floor. There's a doily behind one of the pictures. I put the doily there on purpose. The I'm like, Ma, you're planting doilies around the house? I mean, is there something wrong with you? So, you know, this is constant. I asked her to stop talking about yeah. her. And then a few weeks ago, I'm not kidding, she calls me up. She says, listen, Judith, 
I have an idea for a book. I oh. said, really? Yes, it'll be a paperback book like Joy Behar's. I'm, I'm not kidding. I could win the Pulitzer Prize, and my mother would be like, that's so terrific. Judith Joy was so funny on The View this morning. <laughs> so she tells me she's going to write this book, and I'm not kidding. Yeah. She says, it'll be funny stories, funny vignettes about my home health aides and how they annoy me. And then she says to me, the title? And I'll call it something like, My Life with AIDS. <laughs> I mean, can you even imagine going to a bookstore and seeing this book on display and thinking it's fascinating? Jewish woman, my life with AIDS. And you read the back cover, it's like, I asked her to come at 12.30. She came at 12.45. <laughs> Wants to know why I'm not going to pay for the full hour. She sits on a rear I mean, it's like, That's this hilarious. is my life. Okay. This is my life. Thank you, Judy Gold. And if you're in New York, catch the Judy Show. My life is a sitcom at the DR2 Theater. And members of our audience are getting a pair of tickets.